Ready? Hello and welcome to another week of Mondo Goal Fantasy Forfeit Battle. Usually, if you've been watching our videos over the last couple of weeks or months, um, we do a little bit of fun, we make stuff up. Very high kind of production values. High production values, but I'm kind of taken aback because sometimes I talk about through my team with James or Scrappy the Dog or Jose Mourinho. <laughs> if that's confusing to you, then watch the last two weeks uh, of Mondo Goal or, or don't and be confused. We've got James here for, for two reasons. One, because I was ultra confident last week that um, I was absolutely going to win it. And this week, I've, I've been brought back down to ground somewhat. The scores this week for Arsenal Sorry, fans. Sorry, I've just, just tapped all over the mic. Are you ill? Yeah, I am ill. Did you bring that in? Uh, yeah, that's not the yeah. You're saying that's a disease? It's not. What's that? It's the life of football. Stoke. Come on. So that came from you, did it? Uh, so Arsenal fan TV, 87 points this week. Bull Street, we uh, had 58 points. And Red Men TV, slightly worse on 57 points, which leaves us on Arsenal Fan TV top when they were the last last week. So yeah, that's how quickly things can turn in Mondo Goal. They're top 424 points. We're second with 421 points. And Red Men TV are propping us up with 396 points. So do you feel safe? No, I don't, because I was I was at least 30 points ahead of Robbie. Well, that was, now... Yeah, that was my other question. Is 30 points a lot? Is no, big gap? not really, but it's enough of a buffer to, 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 to be confident. But So I looked at the team. And it's a big week this week, isn't it? It's a big. It's the last one, right? <laughs> yeah. You are so. If you lose, it's not nice. We've seen the other forfeits; they're not very nice. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> <F***ing> hell. <laughs> it's, and it's picked by Arsenal Fan TV. I've looked at some of the uh, suggestions from their fan base. One guy said, "If the Spurs guy lose." Tell him to wear an Arsenal jersey on when Spurs play at YR Lane, so Spurs fans will even mug off their own fans, lol. <laughs> Same for Red Men TV. Wear an Everton shirt at Anfield. If Spurs fan loses, go on tour of Emirates with him and make him burn a Harry Kay jersey <laughs> in the end. Cover yeah. them in Arsenal clo clothing, blindfold them in an Arsenal scarf, take them to the edge of the cliff, make them praise Ooh. Arsenal, Tip them <laughs> over the edge. Oh, well, we don't want to provoke. We're not, we're not. They don't like you, do they? <laughs> Have them eat stinky tofu fresh. Or oh, one more. Bungee jumping. Um, Swim with crocodiles. Preferably crocodiles, crocodiles who aren't dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind. So it is an important week, which leads me to my team. So you've got some issues. I've had Quartar in goal, Jose Fonte. Uh, Suarez and Bertrand in defence. Go on, keep going. Barkley, Willian, Fabregas and Kabaye in midfield. Lukaku, Diego Costa and Adi Bayor up front. Well, I, I was confident about this. What's, what's the problem? Right. So it's a big week. Right? Yeah. And you're... I just, think, I just think you've made some mistakes here, mate. First of all, it's a ma for the last week, don't you want to sort of... You just want to be middle of the road. You just don't want to finish bottom, right? Fortune favours the brave. If Southampton yeah. have a nightmare yeah. <laughs> against a resurgent Swansea side, yeah. you're in trouble, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Palace have scored one goal in, like, God knows how long. Yeah. Right? And you've, so you've gone for one of their midfielders who sits deep. Yeah. Elsewhere in midfield, you've gone for Fabregas, who hasn't done much this season. Willian, fair enough, I'll give you that. Barkley, fair enough, I'll give you that. Yeah. But Fabregas... What? I mean, Chelsea are playing Newcastle, who are known as a sort of bogey side for Chelsea. I don't believe in bogey sides. Just as well. Lukaku, yeah, fair enough, on fire yeah. against West Brom. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Diego Costa. Diego Costa... Yeah. Adebayor. Because <laughs> he hasn't got any track record of letting people down, has he? Letting people down. Also, has barely played for how long? About eight months. In. And he's playing for a team who can't have score scored, goals. Can't score goals. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm worried about now. I felt fine about it. Yeah, this. I'm just saying there's question marks. I've basically gone right. balls out on that defence on Southampton <laughs> and hoping somehow that Palace turn up. Right. I think you're in trouble here, mate. What? I think you're in trouble here. 
Leave your thoughts on this team in the comments below. If you want to get involved in the league this week, there's a description. There's a link in the description. <laughs> it's the million pound offer again. It's free to enter. Big money. Uh, if you, all you have to do is pick the 11 best players in Mondo Goal this week. All you have to do. It's really hard. It almost impossible. <laughs> yeah. That's why they're giving you a million pounds. But it's free. Enter it and see what you say. Give it a go. If you go, why not? And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it uh, the next time you see me I'll be doing something silly uh, no doubt because based on your predictions I've lost I think uh, it's going to be an interesting week I think you should shut your mouth bye stay there <laughs> <laughs> good luck editing that For